Hello everybody, this is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes over at Live and Global Media and I am just honored, grateful, blessed and everything to be here in Richmond, Virginia at Stony Point Mar Fashion Mall and I'm here at Very Ashley with the wonderful Ashley Jefferson. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, how are you? I'm doing alright, I'm just honored because the store is just immaculate, it's beautiful, it's just so many different things. First off, for those who don't know anything about who this wonderful lady is, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Ashley Jefferson. I've been in Richmond for about four years now. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess some people know me as an entrepreneur. I own a few little things here and, um, in Richmond, and um, I decided to open up a store. Mm -hmm. So here I am at Stony Point Fashion Park. Not a problem. So now, of all the wonderful things, uh, you know, you've been in fashion, you've done some acting, you've done some commercials, you've done reporting, you're a writer, all these wonderful things. But you have enough. What decided, to some people's mind, what made you decide to open up a store? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not really an actress. Um, a long time ago, uh, when I was living in New York, I did some modeling. And so, through that, um, you know, I had an agency and they give you jobs and I guess some of those jobs require you to say a few words but that <laughs> qualifies my, <laughs> even though you're wonderful, not my, uh, wonderful. skill set but um you know I guess uh, fashion has kind of been a little passion of mine you know and um to be honest I tried to open a store before in Richmond and Shaco Bottom and it didn't do so well I didn't do the proper research I didn't um you know I just started something you know so I had to step back and say, okay, how do I really want to do this, and, and what's the proper way to do it? And I'm a, I'm a, a natural entrepreneur. It's, you know, my father owns business. My mom does too. She's an attorney. She owns her own law firm in on DC. Um, you know, aunts and aunties and cousins. Um, it's just kind of in the blood of my family. So um, once you know, modeling kind of um, took its um, kind of ended or took its turn, and I still do it off and on, but not as much as I did before. Um, it was just kind of a natural progression to get into fashion on another side of things. So I said, okay, well, I'll just open up a store. I love shopping and, you know, this is basically me shopping, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of how we um, kind of like tumble weeded itself into what you see today. Well, you know, and that's a beautiful, you mentioned DC um, and it's always progressive and growing, especially uh, nowadays with all the uh, new buildings and the government and politics and all the social stuff. What's the difference in like, or so you would say, you know, being in D.C. Um, and from family running, working with family and your family had their own businesses to working in Richmond? Um, well, they both have their assets and their liabilities, you know. Um, D.C. is a great place. There's always something going on. It's really popping. I mean, I grew up there, so I guess my relationship with the issue is a little different than other people. Um, my family's there, you know. Um, but I also have family here too, and I love Richmond a lot. I mean, Richmond is so chill. It's you know the vibe is a little different. Everybody, everybody seems to know everybody here. You know, <laughs> you know. I've opened the store. I got so much support here. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is really. It's like a big little town, you know, and that's what that's what I love about about Richmond. Also, not that this matters, but the food in Richmond is really good. That I don't is know true. what people <laughs> that's the one thing you cannot sleep on in Richmond is food. I have definitely gained some weight down nah, here. No, you look so you good. done got smaller since so, yeah, no. you know, you're doing a little bit wonderful. <laughs> so what so now you mentioned food, what's your favorite food here in Richmond? My favorite food here. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> what do you mean by like my favorite restaurant? Here? Well, a uh, restaurant or food item. Oh, well, dun, I, dun, food. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say surprisingly, um, I'm really trying to do more of the um, vegetarian and vegan type of a lifestyle. I don't really want to classify myself as that as of yet, but um, that's really what I'm trying to to kind of roll into in my diet and. Richmond has a lot of vegan restaurants that are popping up and they are really good. So right now we have, um, I guess my favorite, I don't have a favorite, but one that I really do enjoy is, um, I think it's called Plant Bays. Mm -hmm. And then um, they, they're like a, a vegan version of Chipotle. I mean, they're really good, you know. So I won't hold a turkey burger yeah. and be like, here you go. So, yeah, they're really good. 
Awesome, awesome. Now, when uh, you open up the store, what were some of the challenges in this store versus some of the things in the past that you saw that you said, you know what, I have the experience that helped get you overcome those challenges? If I'm going to be very honest, there really weren't for me, I guess, because I kind of, so I opened the store before it was in Shop and didn't do so well. So I came to this one completely with a different mind frame. I was very prepared. I'd done a lot of research. It was just a kind of a totally different vibe. So I didn't really have any challenges per se opening this store only because I had kind of gone through all of my challenges a couple, several years ago when I tried to open my last store. So this mall has been phenomenal. These people are wonderful. I love the people that are coming through here. I love the people that um, that own the other shops all around. Everybody is so supportive. Everybody has such positive energy, such positive vibe. So my challenge is really is not with opening the store per se. If I had to say a challenge at all, it would be, um, you know, when I place it, where I'm trying to get my clothes to come from, some of my clothes <laughs> come from, um, we have clothes from Turkey, I have clothes from Asia, I have clothes from LA and from Miami. And you know, that shipping, <laughs> getting things here, getting things through customs. I mean, now that, that's a challenge. <laughs> understand, understand, understand. But, supply yeah. is always is. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about the clothes. You have a lot of wonderful things, you know. Yes. Uh, you know, just whatever walk of life that you're in, um, it's not necessarily just because it's here. It's not, nothing's here is expensive. It's very reasonably priced and just all types of life. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so Very Ashley is for the entrepreneurial woman such as myself who I say she's a boss at work and a boss at home. So she comes here to this store to get her work attire, but then she also comes to the same store to get the outfits that she will wear to brunch or on a cruise or or for a night out or mm -hmm. even for even for church, you know. She I mean a lot of times us women who are entrepreneurs and or even if you don't own your own business, you are running a business mm -hmm. or you're just running your own home and you That's don't what you know <laughs> <laughs> and you just don't have time to do all this shopping everywhere. You can come to very actually it's the place that's gonna have everything for you. It's very well curated. Um and you know stuff that you know that you're gonna like and you're really gonna value. And they have good quality um, clothes that are gonna last you a long time. So, yeah. what is your favorite dress here? Every dress. Is my favorite <laughs> dress. I love all my clothes. Right. You know. And then you have some purses, uh, yes. sunglasses. Uh, we do tell have, you have a, a lot, lot of, of bags. Things. We have bags for work, bags for play, bags for um, the evening out. And um, I do have a favorite bag. I'm not gonna say what it is, because I love all of my bags. But there is one bag up there that I really love. And, um, and we only have one left. So I was thinking if nobody pulls that, I'm <laughs> going to take it myself. But um, so yeah, but we have a lot of bags. We have, do have some accessories on sunglasses. My sunglass shelf is very popular. Um, my thing is all the sunglasses. I always lose my shades. So I just have a lot of shades here and my shades are always $10. Mm -hmm. I, I say they're always gonna be $10. Also, now um, as a woman of color, and uh, there's always sometimes challenges with that um, as women of color. How does it feel? That, you know, you mentioned the entrepreneurial woman, the boss woman, but the level of pride, you know, given our history, you know, this is the type of story that our ancestors worked hard for us to have. Tell us a little bit about that in terms of your spirit. Well, we're bringing it back to being in Richmond. This was the capital of the Confederacy. You know, I used to live in Shop Bottom where they used to sell my ancestors. And here I am in high end town selling clothes to, you know, and um, so it's just really become full circle with that to where we're no longer the goods and services that are being sold, but we're actually the owner of it. I own, I own my plantation, you know? <laughs> there you go. So, you know, that's one way to look at it. Understand. So, what are the goals? Uh, we're gonna have a grand opening soon. Yeah. Things. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Grand opening is August eighth. So, I feel that when you're opening a business such as this, it's always good to kind of have a soft opening. So that's where we are now, kind of soft opening, making sure everything is running smoothly. Um, 
I do appreciate the reception because I mean the things that are already selling out in the soft opening. I'm like, oh wow, we we'll have to get so some more. Yeah. <laughs> <'cause they're great. laughs> so yeah, so definitely place on another order. But um, so in the first week, uh, the first full week of August will be the grand opening, and that's when we are really going hard um, oh, with yeah. the advertising and yeah, getting everybody. And we'll have a great celebration, and you know, a lot of people come out. It'll be good times. So tell us about the mascot who's hiring and things. And the company mascot, you know, this is Asha. She is here with us every day. She is a very kind and nice spoiled, dog, spoiled that just loves to be hugged. Um, she's very kind. Doesn't doesn't bite. Most of the time, she stays in her little cubby hole. She has a little cubby hole. I just try to pull her out for the camera, but she's doing her own thing. Um, yeah, so she's with me. So. My baby. One of the things you see out uh, here, we've saw some customers, but a lot of the pride of the youth. There have been some teenagers and some young girls yeah. that's come through here. Uh, the big smiles of seeing the, the, the young girls. How does that feel? I yeah. feel good. I mean, my clothes are for everybody. I and mean, to be honest, young girls are entrepreneurs too. Like, some of these girls have several hundred thousand followers on, on whatever Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And um, they've been able to leverage that to make money. And so, you know, the young girls are, are really doing it. I don't I don't think age has any, anything oh, really no. to do with it. It's just just being a boss chick, however, you know, however they're trying to face you. One of the things is your neighbors have been so welcoming. Yeah, okay. I, I tell, I've been on a, a kick the last few years and, and educate people that we're not in competition with each other. There's right. room for everybody. I don't have what you have. You can't have what I have. And the welcoming and people been actually endorsing you to say, we don't ever come down to this lady's store. Yes, so Saks Fifth Avenue is just two doors down. Um, and I share the wall with Brooks Brothers and Saks Fifth Avenue is two doors down. Actually, if you come to Stony Point Fashion Park, you should park right by Saks. And the ladies in Saks have sent me so many referrals. They're, you know, some customers will go in and looking for something and um, if they don't have it, you know, they come to me saying, oh, this lady at Saks just referred me to come here and they buy me when they come. So, and not just that, I mean, there are other stores up and through um, Stony Point um, that do the same thing. I have to give a shout out to Iconic 7, mm -hmm. um, Jessica, who owns that. She's an amazing girl, Hello, amazing Jessica. woman, her and her husband, and they are very supportive, you know and um, referring business and I mean I've only been here a week but I prefer business to them too like, if you don't see it here just go right on over there I mean it's just a, a cool vibe and everybody is just so warm and welcoming uh, but there's enough success to go around like I'm just not um, the type to try to hinder anyone from doing anything or growing because you know your blessing is going to your blessing it's going to be for you anyway if I try to snuff it out or not there's nothing that I can stop God from doing for you so um, so I'm not going to step in the Lord's way <laughs> so I'm like listen it's enough blessings and enough success to go around and, yeah. how does uh, with all these wonderful things and all these wonderful activities what does Very Ashley do to help uh, calm down you know help uh, find your zone what do you do to relax and reset regroup and things so you can make every day happen um, what does a boss chick like you do? Oh my gosh, so right now, I've been putting in a lot of hours and working a lot. <laughs> well, obviously opening, but, but like... I will say that me and my, my bae, <laughs> we cruise a lot. And I look forward to cruising all the time. I've done four this year already. And I have one more slated um, for September. So that really is the way that um that we that we do we cruise and we travel you know a lot um even without cruising but we travel a lot so you know you work hard you play hard you know, hey, that's, yeah, that's what, what that's what it's supposed to be and just zone now and don't you know associate with anybody just zone out yeah so when you get your 20th store you're going to get to hey, it yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite place that you've cruised or vacation cuba <laughs> Cuba, I really enjoyed that, and we were on a very special cruise to Royal Caribbean. We got a chance to spend the night there. We were there for two full days. Mm -hmm. We spent the night there, and um, it was amazing. We checked into a very nice Russian hotel, and we were just treated like kings and queens. We had a wonderful time. It really hurt my heart that we can't really travel there as easily as we could. 
had a wonderful time there. Well, you know, Lord willing to get to come back and things. So uh, tell people how they can find you, the address, the phone yes. numbers, and all the other good so stuff. So we are at Stony Point Fashion Park um, in Richmond, Virginia, right um, next door to Brooks Brothers by the Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, you can find me on all social media um, accounts, Facebook, um, Instagram, and such at Shop Very Ashley. And our website is veryashley.com. And our phone number is 804-206-9960. And yeah, that's all. And what's the, what would you say six months from now, a year from now, what do you like to see Very Ashley? Well, we're going to still be here because... <laughs> Because my lease says so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but hopefully we'll also um, be online. We are actively working on the e-commerce um, website right now because that's where everything is. Everything really is online. And so we will definitely be um, online during my web sales. We'll, we'll really be big by then, I'm sure. Coming from your background, that's one of the most beautiful things that, you know, we've done a lot of stuff online. And then we also now dealing with the brick and mortar uh, aspect and being able to merge with uh, there's a school of thought that some feel like these things are dying, but not necessarily so. It's really not. There's opportunities for everybody, and you can always uh, utilize uh, the, uh, the benefits of each one. Yeah, no, it's not dying at all. I mean, well, it's changing. It's not dying, it's changing. I think that some people confuse um, change with death, and that's not always the case. It's, um, But it is changing, and, you know, I've done the research so that I can implement the changes into my store and those are things that I will be doing and that I am actively doing. I don't want to share it all with you guys because then you won't have nothing to look, you know, no, won't be surprised. <laughs> but um, definitely, um, there's, there's no, there's definitely um, ways to do this. So I, I guess I can share some things with you. A lot of things that will never um, be completely online is lifestyle. And so lifestyle events, lifestyle activities, even Stony Point Fashion Park. I mean, we call ourselves a park, not really a mall. And we're turning this into a lifestyle park. So there are things that are happening here that you just can't do online. Experiences that you can have in the park that you can't have online. And so, and very actually has definitely taken heed to that. And that was in our business plan. What is it that people can do in the store or stores? Hopefully we'll open some more. Um, that they can't do online. What experiences can they have? And that's what we're focusing on. The styling, the adjustment, the, styling, the recommendations. The adjustment, the recommendations, yes. And all of those things actually you can get online. You can you be go. styled online. Um, but there are a few other things that you can't have online and and that's what we are working on now. But I would say um, I would say the work community. And that's all I'm gonna get. The, per the personal mm -hmm. attention as well. So um, yeah, okay. personal attention. Um, before we go, we have some lotions here, and some shampoos and hair. So we do have shampoos and um, conditioners. Um, that's our Joy and Body line. And so in 2016, my partner and I we went to India to get some hair. We sourced some hair, and um, we do sell that hair here in the in the store. And we also sell um, the hair care products for that hair. So we want your hair to last you years and years and years. And so we sell those products here as well. Final words, uh, what would you say um, is your best quote that you really listen to yourself, that you read, that you can always go back to, that gives you inspiration every day? My, my most favorite quote? Yes, ma'am. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds. And <laughs> praise your Father in heaven. Amen. <laughs> I thank you very much, Ms. Ashley Jefferson of Very Ashley. I uh, appreciate you very much. And thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you, Ashley, up here. Uh, I think we're going to come back. So come on through. Look out for the grand opening on. Uh, oh, yeah. In August. August. Listen, we, we, we come on down anyway. You don't have to wait until the grand opening. But, yes. you know, look out for the other uh, grand opening. Go to veryashley.com for more future updates. Please uh, sign in and get your emails so you can get all yes. the updates and things and see all the yes. wonderful things that's happening. And God bless you. God bless you. We hope this last will be here for centuries to come and everything else. God be the glory. Thank you for very much for spending time with us. Again, I'm Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes of Live and Global Media. Thank you very much, and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye.